Let's go back to Oliver Slope. What's going on here with all the gyrations in the cattle trade today to start the week? Well, it, it goes back to what we talked about in, in the grain segment. It's money flow. It, that's the theme, and that's going to continue to be the theme in these markets. Obviously, uh, Friday morning, we saw grain skyrocket higher. That put a lot of pressure on the cattle complex, and we saw kind of a borderline peak panic capitulation type of trade, especially in the feeders where we dropped sharply. We're able to rebound a little bit. Now with the grains backing off here this morning, you're seeing the feeder cattle again get a little bit of a bid. If, grains continue to retreat here. I wouldn't be surprised to see that offer a little bit more support here for the feeder cattle complex. If we can get out above 160 for that April contract, I think we could continue to retrace some of those breakdown points from the last couple of weeks, get up near that 167 area where there's a gap. Oh, good point. All right. We talked about that earlier. I know. That's, uh, I'm glad you brought that up. Well, Oliver, I appreciate the time this morning. I know you're very busy. We'll let you go for now. Oliver Slope of Blue Line Futures in Chicago with great information here on a Monday.